here is the final design final prototype I guess you could say of the USB ice chest air conditioner um, utilize some USB fans mounted to the top with just the regular case screws that came with them I cut the the hole here just a little bit undersized inside of the uh, mounting holes so that that holds them up I've got some flexible stay flex duct that I purchased from McMaster car it is a press fit in the existing cup holder so friction I didn't have to really do much there it was very very convenient it was the one thing that actually worked the way I wanted to uh, during this this process On the inside, we have the radiator, which is on the underside of the fans. I originally had the radiator over here, but what I was finding is that water kept accumulating on, these, on this radiator. It's really designed for PC cooling, which is removing heat uh, from a very hot surface and not really chilling air down to 35 degrees. That, along with the positive pressure and the surface tension of the water and the small gaps in the uh, fins it just wasn't expelling it wasn't the water wasn't dripping away so after about an hour of use i'd get zero airflow so i mounted this on this side so that the fans would push the air through and that still wasn't quite enough so what i ended up doing was having to enlarge the uh the openings through the radiator and by doing that i lost a little bit of efficiency but i'm still getting the air down 30, 40 degrees before, below ambient. It's working really well. Down here, I have a USB uh, cram pump. I think it's rated at 40 gallons per hour, which is not a lot, but it seems to be putting out enough. And it's kind of convenient is if you want to empty this thing, you can just take this little discharge hose here instead of having it inside. Just kind of put it on the outside, turn it on, and it'll empty the, uh, empty the cooler. So I'm going to give it a whirl here. And to see how it works, you can see my flexible duct you can kind of go any direction you want, keep you cool. I'm going to give it a test and I'll report back. So I'll show you a little bit more. Uh, you control the unit. Uh, this little switch, this came as part of these fans. They're wired together. It also comes with a provision to be able to daisy chain more fans. So what I did was end up just plugging in the USB uh, pump in here. So it has speed controls if you want to lower it more. I find the pump doesn't work on low, so it has to be on medium or at least medium or high for it to work. But it didn't put out enough air to worry about it being too high anyways. Right now, we're at 88 degrees outside. And we are putting out air at the outlet of 54 and a half degrees. So 33 degrees, not too bad. I'm uh, Pretty happy with those results so far. Let's see uh, how it works in an hour or so. I've been running uh, the new version here for about an hour now. This is uh, when I'd start to see problems with humidity build up on the uh, coils. As you can see, we're still getting right around 50 degrees on the uh, discharge. And it's about 89 degrees outside. So we're getting a good, almost 40 degree differential. We are pulling 5.1 volts at about 0.5 amps, 500 milliamps. It's been pretty consistent there throughout the entire test. Here's the inside of the unit as it's running. You can see the coils are pretty clear. Um, I don't know if this fan's blowing through it or the holes are drilled, but I'm getting good air circulation drill through. That's about an hour. Of uh, running the device, still tons of ice in there. Oh, if you're wondering how that's attached, that is just Gorilla Glue on the bottom of the cooler and the seal where I couldn't get a good seal with the glue. It's just regular bathroom bathroom silicone popped. 